Hello friends, welcome back to CAD CAM Station. Today in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you that how to design this mechanical component, which is also known as carburetor. So it seems like this video tutorial is going to be an intermediate type of tutorial, but I'm going to break down this video tutorial so that a beginners can also design this level of difficulty while designing mechanical components so if you like this video tutorial make sure you subscribe like and share with your friends so without wasting any time let's get started go to the files then click on new then under the model tab select the model name the model whatever you want so in this case the model name is carburetor so car carburetor body and uh, this is the place under this section you can uh, save your model under desired folder or de wherever you want to save your model is so i'm gonna for this tutorial i'm gonna save it on my desktop select the folder wherever you want it and just click ok then click ok so now we are in design area as you can see on your screen that we have a 2d representation of our 3d model which we are about to make so we have a section view from right side and from front and so that we can see what is inside of this component so and also we have the top view from which we can use lots of dimensions so basically i'm going to use this 2d drawing as a reference to create our 3d model so let's just uh, jump into it so the first thing i'm gonna draw here is let me just uh, show you that what, what i'm gonna draw here is the first thing i'm gonna draw is this profile or this cylindrical shape okay with a joint so how i'm gonna design is okay so click on sketch select the plane you want to design i'm gonna select exit plane then click ok like this so what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna select a circle or click o on your keyboard start from the regions or center and draw the diameter equals to 44 millimeter so now i'm gonna extrude this sketch so how uh, you can hit x on your keyboard to activate the extrude command but how long so from the sketch we can see that from the top to the center it is 125 let me show you what i'm gonna what i'm trying to say here is from this top surface from this top surface to this center like this from this top edge to this center it is 125 but this cylindrical shape is all the way down up to here so we know that the diameter is 44 and the height from this position to this it is 125 plus this is also the part this region is also the part of this vertical cylindrical shape so from this center to this point it is a complete circle or sphere so that means we're gonna use the radius of uh, this diameter and i'm gonna add it into this vertical length so that means 125 plus 22 because the diameter is 44 so i'm gonna add 125 plus 22 so this value is going to be our extrude value for the circle so now just jump into it again so you can click on over here extrude or click x on your keyboard select the sketch and uh, change its orientation and under the distance 125 plus 22 so this is going to be our final length click ok now is the time to make a sphere or make it round by adding edge blend feature so here is the edge blend feature click on it select the edge ok so the radius is 22 because the diameter is 44 so click it ok so now what i'm gonna do is again i'm going to create the 
horizontal feature so that means this so i'm gonna use the simplest way possible so i'm gonna click on sketch the highlight the plane on which you want to create your sketch select it and click ok okay so it is uh, the sketch is inverted so i'm gonna change its orientation hit f8 to make it normal draw the circle like this and we know that it is 39 so select this now select the center of the circle and the center of this make it vertical like this so now it is vertical now i'm gonna fix its position on 125 because we know that center is 125 like this close it now you can see that the circle is right inside of this feature so i'm gonna extrude it uh, up to the length of 33 because it is already given in the drawing 2d drawing that from the center of this circle let me just show you this from the center of this circle to the edge of this end or in this face is 33 so click here as you can see the sketch is not longer visible to make it visible go to view and see through now you can see what is inside go to home select extrude select the sketch change its orientation and enter the value 33 like this under the boolean operation select unite like this and click ok go to view and click see through again so now you are good to go feature so how i am going to use uh, or i'm gonna draw this feature is very easy the first thing i'm going to uh, use the new command which is the datum plane i'm going to create a new datum plane up to a distance which is already given that from the center of this line to the center of this feature it is given 85 millimeter so i'm going to do this so under the home section select the datum plane so select the plane it is already projecting in the opposite direction which is good you can always change its direction wherever you want and enter the distance 85 millimeter and click ok as you can see it is right there so this is what it looks like from inside what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create this profile ok so I'm gonna create this profile and I'm gonna use the revolve command to create this feature for doing this click on sketch and the plane which you have created click ok and just rotate it f8 to make it normal select the line start from its center position drag it all the way down up to here select the line and convert it and make it reference line okay so now is the time to create the profile which we need roughly draw the profile and after creating the profile what we're gonna do is we're gonna give those lines a dimension which is our requirement okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna leave this uh, these two points uh, away from each other i'm gonna i'm not going to join these two points because i'm gonna use the uh, arc or a circle to join these two because we have a fillet over here as you can see we have a fillet over here so this is the rough sketch which we have created let me just make it normal to your position okay so it looks like a complex then you can hit ctrl plus w and uh, PMI hide them that's it so now you can see them what it looks like okay so hit D on your keyboard and start giving smart dimension to your sketch this point from the center 
it is 86 86 is the diameter divided by 2 like this select the lines and drag it down so that you can see what is going on okay so now time to give the diameter to this okay hit d on your keyboard select the line and the center line and give them a diameter equal to 68 68 divided by 2 which is the radius that's right and uh, this is the if i zoom in it this is 8 millimeter of length right so uh, the wall thickness this wall thickness is 6 millimeter enter 6 and also give this wall thickness equals to 6 right okay make sure you are taking all the dimensions carefully because this profile is quite a little bit complex so if you accidentally uh, fix some wrong lines and or you give the wrong dimension it does not go well okay so you should pay more attention so hit D again start giving dimensions like from this to this point and give it a dimension which is given is equals to 14 millimeter like this select this point and this point and make it horizontal so that these two points are equals from the top of this line up to here it is 80 millimeter select the sketch and now you can drag it the distance between this and this line which is also equals to six millimeter here to this it is equals to nine millimeter like this from this position to the center line it is equals to 16 which is equals to 8 millimeter of radius like this and uh, the bottom the diameter is 24 which is equals to 12 of radius and drag it a little bit down over here drag it like this so that you can see what the profile looks like and uh, the inner bore is 8 millimeter so inner drill size is 8 millimeters so the radius is 4 like this and uh, the small drill is 3 millimeter all right so this is 3 millimeter so 1.5 like this enter the angle between these two this is equals to 30 all right so let me just see if it is all fixed it is not fixed right now because it is still moving so one more thing control plus w and hide the, all the dimension so that we can see what is going on i'm gonna draw the line a center line i'm gonna convert it into center line and i'm gonna give a dimension from here up to this which is equals to 125 like this and the distance from this position to this position is equals to 26 millimeter okay so this is how it looks like let me see if i have fixed everything no so what else we have left with the outer diameter which is equals to let me just like the end point and then the center line and uh, enter the diameter here is 26.441 divided by 2 hit okay diameter over here which is equal to 16 again i'm gonna enter the radius 8 so it looks perfect now if everything fixed or not no it is still moving let me just move it it is fixed everything is fixed except this okay so how are we gonna fix it 
the distance is from this line to this line it is equals to 20 millimeter like this so now everything is in its position uh, no this is not in its position as you can see it is still moving so we know that it is also 30 degrees so give it a dimension of 30 degrees like this and close it now see for other things okay so we are left with this so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to create a circle which is equals to 8 millimeter of diameter 8 millimeter of radius so 16 millimeter of diameter so as you can see here i'm going to select the edge of the circle and the end point of the line and making it on curve do it with the other one as well like this it is on the other side make sure it is in this direction and make sure this point line and the edge of the circle is tangent like this so it is fixed now hit t on your keyboard and trim the line which you not need Control plus w and hide the dimensions now is the time to revolve command so under the extrude you can see the revolve command the profile is already selected now the time to select the axis select the center line now it is revolved so make sure your boolean operation selected to none and click okay so far so good and uh, now is the time to use the edge plan again because uh, we can see that it is uh, for the radius of 8 millimeters so make sure it is 8 millimeter of radius and select the bottom edge and click ok like this perfect now now is the time to make another feature which is this I'm going to create this feature which is going to connect these two bodies okay in order to do that so select sketch select the face and click ok now from the front view we can see that it is 8 millimeter of radius so draw the circle of 16 millimeter of diameter make sure you select the two centers or the center point of the circles and make them vertical like this okay so from the center of this circle to the center of this circle the distance is 24 millimeter okay so the distance is 24 millimeter so double click double click the dimension and enter 24 millimeter okay and close it to make it even more draw a rectangle like this and uh, select this point and the center of the circle and make them coincident select the line and the edge of the circle and make them tangent hit T on your keyboard and trim out the lines which are in the center from the center of this to the this edge is, is equals to 24 like this rotate your view hit X on your keyboard to activate the extrude command so change its direction okay uh, as you can see you are not able to you might not be able to see your preview because of this boolean operation you can change it to none to see your preview so we are going to offset this extrude from here in order to do that under 33 minus 18 so under the end distance we are going to use select until selected so select the object like this so it is now connected with the other object or it is connecting all these two 
objects okay these two separate bodies now in order to combine these you can go to menu and under the insert combine and unite select the body like this and click ok so now these are all a single body so far so good now hit ctrl plus w and hide the sketches so is the time to create the top feature this one in order to create this we have the dimensions from the top view select the sketch and select the top surface and click ok so make it according to your view in which you want to see it and hit F8 ok select O on your keyboard and click on this circle draw the circle which is going to be 12.5 1 on this side ok so select this center select this center and select this center it is vertical for the software like this now i'm going to make it symmetric on both the side in order to do that you have to go under more and select make symmetric so select the center of the circle and again the center of the other circle and this is the center line so now they are symmetrical on both the sides and we know that the distance between these two is 76 so double click on this and enter 76 like this now again hit o on your keyboard start from the center of these sketch circles and give it a dimension of diameter equals to 12 into 2 this is the diameter we need and now another diameter is going to be over here which is equals to 26 millimeter of radius so start from the center drag it out so 26 multiplied by 2 this is the radius diameter which we need as you can see 52 Control plus W and hide your dimensions like this okay so now select the line or hit L on your keyboard and start creating lines like this select the line and the edge of the circle and make them tangent now do the same process with this line as well drag it out then select the line again and a circle and make it tangent so now hit T on your keyboard and trim out the lines you don't need okay so repeat this same process on this side as well Now I'm going to trim all these lines as well. Like this. Okay. So now is the time to extrude this feature up to 12 millimeter. So hit X on your keyboard or click extrude. Change its direction under the value. Set it to 0. And end value equals to 12 millimeter hit enter and click ok so as you can see these are two different bodies in order to make it one you can use combine feature from here or you can just modify your existing feature just double click on it under the boolean operation select unite and click ok now they are a single object as simple as it is so now we are done with this feature this feature this connecting feature and the top flange type feature so now is the time to create this hollow feature from inside in order to do that i'm gonna select the top surface from here or you can select the top sketch or top plane just select the sketch select the plane like this click ok 
we know the inner bore or the inner diameter which is equals to 32 millimeter like this and now what we're going to do is i'm going to extrude this feature reverse the direction and enter the distance equals to 125 millimeter and click boolean operation to subtract then click ok select the circle and uh, draw the circle and we know that it is 32 as well now go to extrude rotate it change its direction and uh, enter the distance equals to 33 millimeter because we know that from center it is 33 and uh, under the boolean operation it should be subtracted and now we are having this feature so far so good now let me just show you Control plus H to make the section view click OK so from the inside we can see that we have this uh, feature which is not required we want to remove this uh, feature as you can see here in this section view we have this circular feature in order to remove it I'm going to use the revolve cut command to make that curve on this surface there are numbers of ways you can do this but I'm going to use a simplest way possible to achieve the desired result so to do that select the sketch and the surface on which you want to create so I'm gonna copy the profile in order to make the copy of your profile just go to here and select the project curves select the edge and also select this edge and click OK select the line start from its center like this go vertically upward or downward it is up to you convert it or it is not required as well so under the view to make it complete hit D on your keyboard and trim all the lines it says that it is single continuous chain but we not need it we can delete it let me just do it one more time because single continuous chain is not trimmable in this case so click ok we can simply join this line like this hit T on your keyboard and trim out the line like this so now I'm going to use the revolve command so this profile is selected under the axis I'm gonna select this vertical line under the boolean operation i'm going to subtract and click ok Control plus w and hide the sketches Control plus h to see what we have inside f8 to make it normal so this is what we have now we are left with some few features which is very also important like the blend feature over here so this blend feature has the radius of two millimeters so enter the radius two millimeter and select the edge like this and click ok select the edge blend as well enter three and select the inner edge and click ok so this is the chamfer we have to create a chamfer over here in order to create the chamfer there is the chamfer option right besides the edge blend so click on it so uh, offset an angle you can select whatever you want but according to the drawing it is one millimeter of chamfer with 45 degrees angle so 45 degrees angle and one millimeter of length select the edge and click okay 
so this is the feature which is required so I'm gonna create a feature over here in order to do that I'm going to create a sketch on the vertical plane click OK make it normal to your view F8 then select the line start from here and drag it all the way up to here and convert it to center line so make sure it is the distance from this position center to this, this center line it should be 24 so we can see that it is 24 already it is red color line so we know that it is over defined so make sure you delete all the red dimensions which is over defined select this line start from this position goes outward then again just roughly draw the profile which we are going to create go to straight all the way up to here and uh, simply join it over here and then then select this line and close the profile like this hit D on your keyboard or you can simply drag these dimensions according to your requirements so I'm going to use these dimensions as my first point so this is the radius for our diameter diameter is 7.73 divided by 2 which gives us the radius like this perfect and uh, the distance this one is it it is equals to 7 millimeter like this and uh, this diameter it is equals to 3 millimeters so let me just select these two lines and enter 1.3 millimeter like this perfect and uh, the angle this this angle with this one it is equal to 30 degrees now is the time to use the revolve command profile is already selected under the directional or the central axis selected boolean operation is subtract and click ok Control plus w and hide the sketches so this is the profile which is required all right so now select the sketch again and draw and click ok hit f8 now again draw the vertical line from the center of this circle and uh, draw a rough sketch from this center to this edge it is 26 millimeter away just simply select it and enter the dimension 26 millimeters and uh, and double click on it enter 60 degrees now select the line and convert it to center line select the revolve command and uh, specifying vector this is boolean operation to be subtracted and click ok Control w and hide the sketches and close it so i'm going to create a center line like this and convert it to the center line so that it should look like a center line give it a dimension from center to this point is going to be equal to 23 millimeter like this so i'm going to create a 
rectangle it is not fixed double click on it and enter six now as you can see it is moving in every direction possible so to make it stop moving make them like this okay so it is fixed now now the time is to rotate select the revolve command center line and click ok so as you can see that we have to select the boolean operation under unite and click ok so now we have that feature and uh, hide the sketch i'm going to select the plane like this and click ok hit F8 draw the line and convert it to into center line and uh, we know that it is 64 millimeter above the center of the circle so hit D on your keyboard start and give the dimension from this position and enter 64 like this again draw the center line from this position to here convert it to center line hit T and trim it up to this so this is how I'm going to create a revolve command like this one and like this one so make sure this line and this line are equal okay so these two lines are equal and uh, i'm going to use this make it symmetric so this point this point and center line so now they are symmetric hit d on your keyboard select the far end of these two sketches and uh, give it a dimension of 52 like this and close it and uh, the outer diameter is 10 so give it as well hit D on your keyboard select these two lines and enter 5 on your keyboard like this now hit revolve command specify the vector on the boolean operation select unite and ok go to home select the sketch select the face click ok select the circle start from its center line center or region of the circle and hit diameter 6 now select extrude change its orientation and uh, you can simply drag and uh, click ok so now is the time to create hole on this face go to sketch select the face and click ok just make sure you are on the right side there is no need to make it uh, horizontal or vertical you can place the sketch or 3d object in isometric view and you can draw as well you can also use the uh, section view to see it from the front side but it is not required so as you can see there is m6 so enter six millimeter of diameter here as well and uh, under the extrude change its orientation and uh, under the value until next select subtract and click ok Control w and hide the sketches okay so again enter control w and hide the coordinate system as well and plane as well click close so guys this is it so this is how you can create a simple mechanical components uh, by using uh, simple it is not a simple mechanical component it is a quite a little complex but 
I hope I made it uh, a way simpler for you to know that how you can create this type of uh, component by using an X12. So if you like this video, please, I would like to request you to please subscribe it. Subscribe this video or subscribe to my channel. Yes, of course, and like it and make sure you uh, leave some suggestion into the comment section so that I will uh, put your comments or your suggestions in my next upcoming video. So also share this video with your friends who are also interested in learning some care things or want to know something new as well. So all I need is to say is just support me as much as you can. You're watching CAD Cam Station, signing out for now.